and being able to, to bring it to you on my Facebook page. Uh, if I'm allowed to have favorites as a host, this is it. This is my favorite set of plants for the entire year. You're not going to convince me otherwise. I am obsessed with monarch butterflies. And this is the only plant on the planet that monarch butterflies will lay their eggs on. It's also the only plant that the pupa or the, the caterpillar of a monarch butterfly will eat to be able to go into their chrysalis stage to become monarch butterflies. Now, scampia or, or milkweed grows naturally, as its name implies, as a weed. There, there's their caterpillars. Uh, but it's ugly. It's an ugly plant. Uh, it's leggy. It's just not attractive. So what our friends at Roberta's did is they were hybridizing milkweed to have all the same wonderful natural qualities of impact gardening and yet to make them extremely attractive. These are perennials. You're getting four plants and they're going to come back year after year after year. I didn't plant anything for the last two years unless it was a pollinator and in particular I planted a lot of milkweed. I've got monarch butterflies that are going to be in my backyard again this year. I think that, to me, is amazing. I want to bring Court Walleen back in. Court, the monarch butterfly population has been in decline consistently for about the last 20 years. You're right. But last year we saw a little bump in numbers, especially yes. out here on the East Coast. That's a good feeling. When is it that they're going to decide when the monarch might go on the endangered list? Is it 2023? The U.S. Fish and Wildlife will make that determination in the year 2024, so in okay. just about two years or so. So we can't rest on our Asclepia. We've got to keep planting this to do our part to help the monarch butterfly population. And like you said, these are award-winning hybridized plants of American natives. So they make a beautiful plant. It, it's not considered a weed any longer, although it's still considered by name milkweed. Um, so if we can go through the images, I wanna show you how beautiful they are into the garden, how magnificent and essential they are for the monarch butterfly population. And, so and you're, you're gonna get four different four, colors. Yes, you're gonna get the orange, and these are all named varieties this is called tuberosa orange. They all come with their tags, they're all named. And look how uh, compact and beautiful and full of flowers that is. And you'll get those flowers July, August, September, a good long time. And you'll get the monarch butterflies and you'll get to see the whole life cycle of the monarch butterfly. And there is the beautiful Cinderella pink. Mm -hmm. I love that one. And all these colors go together. This, Dan, is maybe what you can do in your farmstead. It's what I'm doing in the back of my yard is creating a large, large patch of these. Yep. So whether you live in a city and you can grow on a balcony or whether you live in the suburbs and you can uh, you know, plant many sets or if you live in the farm area and just plant as many as you can, we need it. And this is the belly white, gorgeous flower. Look at the five petals and look how that monarch just stands out against that beautiful flower that you'll get July through October every year, year after year. That, and they're nectar rich. That was they're the male fragrant. monarch that you saw. The mo male monarch has more of an orange glow to it. That's oh, cool. the female, which is a little lighter, sometimes almost yellow in color. Well, but the, or that could be a swallowtail. I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. You know what? Other I think you're right. I think it is. Come to drink the nectar. But see the little caterpillar there. That's the only plant food source, the Asclepia or milkweed leaves for that uh, caterpillar. And there's a great little video that Sandra Bennett made with her yeah, husband, yeah, yeah. Adam, that shows the whole life cycle. And there it is. So there's the caterpillar munching away on the milkweed leaves. She collected it, put it in a little hutch, watched the chrysalis form, and within eight days, that monarch butterfly emerges yeah, how, from the chrysalis. How crazy is that? That it's yeah. eight, eight days, days from eight caterpillar days. to monarch butterfly. Eight days. Yeah. I, you can't witness this stuff in your own backyard and, and not believe in God. I, just, I agree. It, it's and, amazing to me. 
And I'm glad that you say this, that same thing that I say. This is the most important plant that Roberta's offers, in my opinion. They're yeah. award-winning plants, and it's the only thing that helps the population of the monarch butterfly. And I want to show you exactly what you're getting. Now, I'm holding just two of the four that you're getting. Look at them. They're not bare root. It's not a seed. It's not a bulb. It takes all the fuss, all the muss, all the concern out of growing them. These are well-rooted plants, and you will get your flowers this very first season, July, August, September. Uh, unlike any other uh, plants out there, Roberta's offers the best to assure your satisfaction in the ground, and in this case, to help the monarch butterfly population. The Gotta Grow Guarantee for one year is included along with our growing guide, Dan. The, the monarch butterfly, to me, it, I still can't figure it out. Uh, there are things as human beings we will never know. but. Right now, the monarch butterflies are still in middle of Mexico for those yes. that will come up our East Coast. And they will be in my backyard, according to the experts, roughly yes. around May 15th. Okay. That, that 4,000 mile journey is a multi-generational migration. You're right. They, they always come back to where their ancestors were born. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and the average life expectancy of a monarch butterfly in migration is only about six weeks. But six once, weeks. once they get to their destination and they have milkweed to sustain them on, the last generation of the season can last six to eight months. So right. I call it impact gardening. And it I love will make it. an impact on you when you yeah. see these monarch butterflies in your backyard knowing that they're there because you took the time to have the heart to plant the right plants that are right for them. That's right, and impacting your containers, and impacting your guard, uh, in your garden, and an impact in your heart. I agree. I, I love it. Uh, and by the way, by far the best looking milkweed that anybody has ever grown. And you won't find these elsewhere. You guarantee success or your money back. We do. On top of QBC's 30-day money-back guarantee, Roberta's assures your satisfaction for its perennials like these milkweeds for one year from time of shipment. So if for any reason your results do not match or exceed your expectations, Dan, just give us a call. We'll send you replacements free of charge. You know, here in America, the monarch butterfly has definite impact. In Mexico, uh, they believe that when the monarchs return to Mexico, that is the spirits of lost loved ones, and it's a Aww. day of festival.